Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina and today I'm going to be using my new tie-dye kit that I got from Santa for Christmas. Um, it comes with 18, or well, it comes with 18 bottles, so I have like a ton of projects that I can work on with it. Um, it comes in a little case, actually, it's really cool. A um, little plastic tub so I can store things. All of these colors, black, purple, pink, orange, red, green, teal, lime, turquoise, blue, red, fuchsia, yellow, all them colors on a handy little sheet here. That is actually from the packaging. Like, might as well keep it so I know what colors are which. Comes with, or well, this is like, create, um, this is the, it's called the Create Basics Kit. And it basically is like a quick little tie fabric, add water to dye bottle, shake until dye is dissolved, apply dye to fabric, wrap in plastic, let sit six to eight hours, rinse, wash, and dry. And there you have it, your very own tie dyed piece of clothing. Um, it comes with plastic for your table, which is a good thing because tie dye is messy. Rubber gloves. <laughs> and instructions, which I guess is a good thing, so you know how to do it. Well, it's more of tips. General instructions. Set up, wash, set up work surface, pre-wash fabric, prepare fabric, mix dye, dye fabric, wrap, let sit, rinse. And it has hints. It has, oh, make it a little... Has little ideas on you can make the swirl fabric, bullseye, crumple, inspiration, project ideas, and step by step instructions. Visit createbasics.com. Um, and it tells you what you need you need natural fabric fiber in a light color, plastic trash bags, plastic bag or plastic wrap, paper towels, and scissors. And so that's how you make. Your very own tie dyed comes with a trillion colors. Not a trillion. Um, but it comes with 60 rubber bands, so that's a great idea. That's a great thing to have for rubber bands. And then, since I forgot that, because I already opened this, I forgot that it came with plastic your table. So, what do I do? Grab out plastic bags. So, we'll just move those out of the way. Don't mind the plastic bags. Okay, so I got from Santa, a white hat, a white baseball cap. I got socks and shoelaces. They're all white. And so I'm going to tie-dye um, some socks today. Let's see how it goes. So let's get this all set up so we can start tie-dyeing. So whenever I film me like washing it and stuff, that'll be tomorrow. It's not gonna happen today because I have to let it sit for six to eight hours. Okay, so we'll get two socks. Okay. Wait. Okay. Cover work surface with plastic and then cover with paper towels. So Cover it with our plastic. I don't need that much. I'm only doing soft. Okay, so I think my color choices today. I'm gonna use pink. I'm gonna use yellow. I'll just assume it's yellow. And I'm gonna use what color is this? Teal. So we're gonna try to match a sweatshirt that I actually have. My mom got me for my birthday. So we're going to. What are they using to fill this? They're using a funnel? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. So you fill it to the neck. Okay. So, let's do this. So, you fill it to the neck with water. You 
Oh, whoops, there we go. Built a neck with water. Doesn't look the best color, but I don't know. It's not done. Okay, and then shake, and we're gonna shake it over. Whoops. I missed an important step. take some rubber bands and let's see what pattern am I going to do today hmm Yellow. Oops. Blue. And instead of putting, taking the whole top off, I took the top off. Wow. Just pour the dye or pour it in until it reaches the neck. Close it. I feel like a mad scientist. Do the same thing. And voila, we have pink. We have turquoise and we got yellow. So, time to start dyeing. So, we got our spiralized socks. Our three color choices. And so now, we dye the socks. Very carefully, don't get dye everywhere. Well, yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Let's make this so you can see it. Can you even see it?
say that one you think is blue. And you know what? It doesn't matter if it ain't perfect. As long as you like it, that's what matters. So, let's see. Let's put some pink right there. And we'll do pink right in this skinny little section right there. And then we'll put pink right there. And pink right there. And then, alas, you get your yellow. And we're going to put yellow just, you know, all over. Well, actually, in, in the rest of the spots. There we go. And we'll put yellow here. Come on. We'll put yellow right there. And we've got some parts that were green. So that's kind of cool. I think my socks look a little funky. But you know what? That's okay. So, and now... And now we turn this over and see what it says. Okay, okay. So you're gonna take your tie-dyed ball of whatever you're making, like I made socks, and wrap it tightly. What is this? Wrap it tightly. It kinda looks like a cool little cookie. Okay, and take our other one and do the same thing. So tomorrow, we will all see what it looks like. Okay, so now we got two little cocoon things and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. So now I got a key. Let it sit six to eight hours. So yeah, I might wash it tonight, we'll see. So. We'll see what it turns out to look like. So, I will see y'all in six to eight hours. my washer it's already been set to go I got a little bit of fabric or a little bit of detergent in there and my socks going in close it and we got it on hot cold for 30 minutes go and in 30 minutes I'll put them in the dryer see you then and our sock reveal they're wet they have to go in the dryer but so we're gonna take our socks and put the socks in the dryer <clears throat> turn the dryer on I think 20 minutes is just fine turn it on and in 20 minutes we'll have tie-dye socks Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see what my socks look like. The timer has ended. Turn that off. And here we go. Well, they're both in here. That's a plus. They're still a little wet, but that's not going to stop us from looking. Okay, so this is a lot toned down color. But I think it is really cute, and I mean, it didn't come out like I wanted it to, but it was my first project ever tie-dyeing. So, yeah. I think it still looks cute. Um, so that's the one sock, and then the other sock is like a 
It's kind of got a green color to it because the yellow and the blue mix together. Um, but I mean, hey, at least they're generally the same colors. So that's a plus. So since that was the first time I'd ever tie dyed, since that was the first time I'd ever tie dyed, I'd say successful. I'll give it an A plus. So I think they're cute. And yeah, that's what matters, right? Now I just gotta go let them dry. Finish drying because I'm not sticking them back in the dryer. Um, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and comment if you've ever tried tie-dyed and your favorite project that you've ever tied it. And I will see you guys next week. Also leave any comments of future videos you'd like to see. Any tips, suggestions, anything like that. And I will see you guys next time.